Hi right, YouTube, Supernova back again for part six of uh, the continuance of, well, I should say part six of the cylinder head rebuild. Uh, last video was cylinder head teardown, this one's cylinder head rebuild. Uh, I got me a quart of STP 1030 oil. Uh, I can pretty much build an entire motor with just one quart. That's what you use to lubricate your seals. Just some cheap oil. Um, lubricate your seals. These are the valve guide seals, the new ones. Um, they are Fell Pro brand. Uh, I got a full blown Fell Pro engine gasket set. It's the only brand I ever use. I will not use anything else because everything else I've ever used has leaked. Fell Pro has never leaked. I guess they use better material, I guess. Um, but anyway, I just got done relapping every single one of these valves. Washed them, rinsed them. And then I washed this head. Had it completely tore down. Uh, except for these nuts and bolts left in there, so I know where they go. Got it completely tore down, valve guide seals removed, um, washed it with soap and water, and then I turned around and hit it with some degreaser. And as you can see, the exhaust ports cleaned up very, very nice. The intake ports, on the other hand, uh, didn't. They cleaned up a little bit, but not much. And these are all the valves and valve guide seals stripped out. I'm going to go ahead and start hammering these things in. Of course, they're press on. I like these anyway because it's a metal housing with a rubber seal on the inside. And it goes all the way up to here and seals around the valve. That's what I like to use. Um, got me a little makeup brush that my wife doesn't use. Use that to dip in the oil and kind of coat this a little bit so it'll slide on a little bit easier. Um, I'm using a 11 millimeter. It's just big enough to press on, but not too big to where it'll just go inside the socket, and it's big enough to keep it from damaging the seal itself so i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna use my handy dandy valve uh spring compressor tool again to reinstall these valves with the same valves retainers and keepers that they come out of in each spot so and once i do that i'll probably do a little bit of lubing on these uh, these uh valve cups you know prevent rust and all um when i go to slide these valves in this is what i use uh engine engine assembly lube for top fuel and alcohol motors um that's what i use to build the nova on the uh, build the motor on the nova so i'm gonna use them to coat these guides a little bit so it'll slide in easier and also add a little bit of wear protection inside the valve guides i checked the clearance on them they're very tight uh, there's just enough wiggle to allow the valve to slide in and out i mean like i'll show you an example this is the wrong way in but still i just want to show you as you can see it doesn't move but just a little bit and it's just enough to allow it to move in and out so that's why I, that's why i like them but that's what i like about these jap motors they got high tension valve springs so unlike you know some american made cars that have built and messed with they always had uh you know loose valves and whatnot so but i'm gonna go ahead and Oh, and by the way, I checked the pistons. I'm going to make a video of that another time. The pistons are like 
freaking spotless. You wouldn't believe how clean they become compared to what they used to be. Matter of fact, they was so black from carbon buildup around the area where the rings go were very clogged up with carbon. Even the oil rings were clogged up with carbon. It was just horrible. But I'll make a video on the pistons once I pull them out and uh, show y'all how clean they turn out to be. So I've been letting them soak for about two days now. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get to work on this. Uh, until next time, peace out and God bless.